welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today we are in my living room. We are getting ready to go thrifting. Um, but first, this is a collaboration with my friend Danielle. Uh, her channel is Homemade Vintage. She is uh, obviously a lover of vintage like myself. She's a thrifter. She takes you along with her thrifting. She shows you what she bought and uh, she also does decorating and home tour videos. Um, she, her style is amazing. I love it. Um, and I think you would too if you like my channel. So definitely go check her out. But for now, let's go thrifting. And then we'll come back. I'll show you what I got and decorate with some of it. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, let's go thrifting for real. There is a new Goodwill in my town and it is massive, it's so much bigger than any of the other ones I have been to, so that is really exciting. I have gotten pretty lucky with linens. At this Goodwill, I usually find some pretty neat pieces, even if I don't bring them home. This is a farmhouse style uh, ticking stripe bed skirt. I didn't open it up, so I don't know what size it was, but it looked to be brand new. Another thing I have been finding a lot is paintings, oil paintings and acrylic paintings. Um, I'm not sure, they just have been coming to me lately. My daughter Josie thought the Mickey and Minnie Mouse picture was creepy. At this Goodwill, the whole back wall of the store has been sectioned off into baskets, a little bit of lamps, and then wall art. So there's quite a good selection of baskets here. I actually found an antique picnic basket here. Last time I was here, that was really exciting because I had been looking for one for a long time. And I finally found one, so um, that was a lot of fun.
I almost picked up this little tin. I thought it would coordinate nicely with another vintage tin that I have in my craft room, but decided against it. This piece I pushed around in my cart for a while as well. I can't believe I didn't come home with it. This was my one regret of the day, not bringing home that riser. This candlestick was massive, really, really tall, and it was really, really cool too. It was of similar color to the pedestal that I was just showing you, um, but that stayed as well. Forgive me, but I could not tell if this was supposed to be baby Jesus in the manger or if this was just some creepy candle that I didn't know about. Um, it just looked a little too creepy for me to be baby Jesus, but maybe it is? I don't know. I was really excited to see this because I've actually been looking for one. I've been wanting to make monkey bread for a little while and mine was really gross and I had to throw it away because the coating was coming off, but I could not pay that price at Goodwill. I have been tempted so many times to pick up one of these pie plates with the fruit on them and the recipe. But they're not of my style, but I keep getting tempted because I see them on YouTube all the time. But they're not really my style, so I'm not sure if I want one just because they're on YouTube. So far I haven't bit the bullet and it's been a couple years, so <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good. This set is a longer burger set that was $4.99, I believe, um, which I didn't think was too bad. Longer burger tends to sell a little higher. And this manger set was priced per individual piece, so you know somebody's going to come and buy just baby Jesus or just the sheep. <laughs> somebody's going to do that and break up this set. These little dishes were William Sonoma and I was immediately attracted to them for the colors. Fall season is coming and I'm excited about it this year. So I was attracted to these little guys. They did not come home with me, but I thought they were so perfect for fall. This vintage purse was probably the coolest purse I have found in a really long time. It was all brass and is that croco embossed leather? I think, or ostrich skin? I don't know, I can't, well no ostrich, I, nope it's not ostrich, I think it's croco. Um, but it is the coolest thing. It opened up on both sides. I didn't get it, but I was so tempted to. So the first item we 
I purchased, it's actually, I got it from my husband, which is this computer armoire. It used to have a built-in desk over here that my husband built for me years ago, and that's kind of where he does his gaming. Well, that is where he does his gaming, and he's, um, he's organizationally challenged, let's just say. <laughs> so, um, I'm a very PC way to put it. <laughs> So we, I've been looking for this armoire. I had seen it on an Instagram feed. I will put the link to the Instagram feed down below. I don't have permission to use their picture. So, but this, this Instagram feed was my inspiration for this piece. And I just kept looking and looking and looking. I found two prior to this. The first one was snatched up within minutes and it was selling for $250 on Facebook Marketplace. And the second one was even, no, the first one was $200 on Facebook Marketplace and it got snatched up within just a few minutes. This, uh, the second one was 250 in way worse shape than the first one. And um, that one sold in just a couple of days. Did, at that time, I didn't have time or maybe even the budget to go get it. I don't remember. Um, but then I found this one and this one was only a hundred dollars and I snatched that thing up so quick and I told Gabe, I finally found it, let's go get it. And he, we went down, we grabbed it and it is perfect. Now we did, this thing is solid oak. It, um, and it's so heavy. Gabe, I had thrown out my back <laughs> and Gabe and Allie brought it up and Allie has bruises on her legs from trying to carry it. I feel so bad. But um, she's like, Mom, that thing is so heavy. But yeah, they got it up here. I cleaned it up. We, we removed the desk out of the corner. Um, Gabe patched it uh, and sanded it. And then I primed and painted. And we were able to get the desk moved back into the corner, or the armoire moved back into the corner. And I think it looks so nice, much nicer than the hand, you know, the homemade desk that we put back there. So I was really excited to have that. So my focus for this video was to decorate the top of it. So that is what I did. But first I am going to tell you about the other thing I found. I found another wish list item this week. I am so excited this must be the week for wish list items because I have been looking for a bridge lamp for a couple of years and I finally found one um, and it was at Goodwill. I paid $7.50 for it after my discount. Um, it was marked $9.99 or was it $8.99? It might have been $8.99. I'll put the clip in. And <laughs> it isn't exactly what I'm looking for. This one's a little pointy, a little MCM um, and I'm definitely looking for more like ornate Victorian style so when I find that I, I will be super excited but this one will do for now. I did take apart my other lamp to rewire this lamp because the cord scared me a little bit and I gave this lamp a good cleaning and it now resides in my corner of my living room. The rest of the items are actually items that I can pick up and show you so that's exciting. This I've already put into place. Um, but I took it down to show you and I did wipe it down, but I left the price tag on. So I remember it was 99 cents. So after my discount, I paid just um, 75 cents for it. And I was really excited because this is actually the same sprig, but in orange that my daughter got. She decorated the inside of her car <laughs> um, with these, but hers are pink. And so, um, oh no, these are from, these are from Michael's. So I grabbed those and they are going to go on my armoire here. I did find, I collect the James Patterson Alex Cross series and I did find Pop Goes the Weasel. Books are a dollar, no, yeah, a dollar 99 at my Goodwill and um, with, with my discount I paid a dollar 50 for this. Uh, I found three doilies. Two of these, one is a little bit lighter, um, more of a whitish creamy color. This one is more of, I would say, an acro, and they are 99 cents a piece, so I paid 75 cents a piece. Um, so I have two of these, and then I have uh, this one, which was also 90 cents, which is a little bit larger, larger, and then you can see the other little doily is the same color as this. But I like this um, like 
floral or star shape. Uh, so not bad for $1.50 for two of them. I also found a piece of fabric. I don't, this feels like wool to me and I think it's beautiful. It was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it and it just looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? It's very scratchy, um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but at the very least, I can make a tight table runner for it or just um, you know a piece to put on the table and layer or I could just leave it as it is, a piece of fabric, and layer it with it that way. So I thought that was really pretty as well. Last but not least, I'm not going to be using this in this video, but I do have a plan for this. Um, I found two rolls of vintage, uh, it's called Fashion Point, uh, and it is wallpaper. I am going to use this to line my drawers. I like to wrap poster board, not poster board, uh, foam board um, with this like a present and um, put it in the bottom of my dresser drawers. I just moved an antique dresser into my bedroom for myself to use because I have not had one. And it's just really simple, like three little hash marks um, on a cream background and the hash marks are like a, a woodsy green. I would call it somewhere between forest green and sage green. It's really pretty. And it does have a bit of a shimmer, like spongy colored background. Like it's um, the same color, but part of it is shiny and part of it isn't. I don't think that is going to pick up in the camera, um, but there you have it. Now, I am not going to do a decorate with me for this portion of the video because I did throw out my back and getting up and down is a little um, much for me right now. <laughs> But I am on the mend. I am feeling much, much better, but I do get sore when I'm up and down quite a bit. So anyway, let's go look at what I did to the top of the armoire. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget to go over and check out Danielle's channel, a Homemade Vintage, when you're done watching this. Um, and give her some love. Odin says hi, <laughs> if you can hear him <laughs> grumbling in the background. Uh, and thank you guys so for, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you later, guys. Bye.